Poor people have compute needs too, especially if they are chronically underfunded academics. That's what drove Larry Page and Sergey Brin to cobble together PC motherboards for several iterations of Google clusters. But when you start talking about hundreds of PCs the prices start adding up to hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. That's the problem that a group of computer scientists tackled in affordable and energy efficient cloud computing clusters. The Bolzano Raspberry Pi Cloud Cluster Experiment by Pekka Abraham's son, Sven Helmer, Natakarn Fafim, Lorenzo Nicolodi, Nick Prada, Lorenzo Mayeri, Matteo Angriman, Juha Rikila, Zianna Fingwang, Karim Hamili, and Sarah Bigaloni, all of the Free University of Boston Bolzano, in Bolzano, Italy. Will IT make the top 500 list? Probably not. The top 500 supercomputers all cost millions. But bragging rights? Priceless. The paper uses the original Raspberry Pi, RPI, but today you can get the RPI 3, which is roughly 4x faster, for $35. The original was roughly the power of 300 MHz Pentium 2, which might have been the processor in the early Google clusters. Bottom line, you can do real work on this class of machine. The configuration. Network. They used a star configuration, where a number of low cost fan out switches connect to a single interconnect switch. Each RPI connects to a port on the fan out switches. Storage. The SD cards on the RPI are too slow for writes, so the team attached a QNAP4 drive NAS storage array and used a logical volume manager to provide volumes to sub clusters. The SD card did the OS on it so each RPI could boot using local storage. Mounting. Design students at the Free University of Bolzano devised a rack system with individual holders for each RPI. The holders are clear so status lights are visible, and individual RPIs can be added or removed while the system is running. The racks are stackable. Power. 300 individual power supplies would be unwieldy. So they took old PC power supply units to power each rack unit. Yes, if a SU failed, 24 nodes would go down. Software. They used Debian V7 as a base for enough functionality to boot an individual RPI so it could request the current configuration from the master RPI. Using the cluster. The RPI used in the cluster wasn't powerful enough to run OpenStack or other current open source clustering software. So the team focused on providing some cluster management and monitoring so users could work in parallel on the cluster. Given the added power of the RPI 3, I wouldn't be surprised if it could handle some of the available open source clusters. In fact, in another paper researchers built a small RPI Hadoop cluster for image analysis that could be expanded to 300 nodes. The storage bits take. A number of folks have built RPI clusters but this one is the largest in the literature. One grad student built an RPI 32 node Beowulf cluster. The University of Southampton built a 64 node RPI cluster, using Legos to build the frame. If you want to do it yourself, there are papers and videos to show you how. The mobile revolution has pushed low power, low cost processors far further than I'd ever imagined. Back when in an 8-node PS3 supercomputer was state of the homebrew art. The practical use for RPI clusters is as edge computing preprocessors and as cloudlets to provide low-cost services to remote and or impoverished communities. As ARM power continues to grow, these clusters will find a place in the arsenal of computing solutions. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.